Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial series, I'll be teaching you how to use Selenium in Python for web scraping and browser automation. So when I first picked up Selenium a few years ago, it took me a while to really understand how to use the framework, since I thought it was just another library to scrape information from the web, very similar to Beautiful Soup, but I couldn't be more wrong. So what is this Selenium? So here let me show you the homepage of Selenium uh, library or framework. So Selenium is an open source framework for uh, browser automation. And using the framework, we can do actually quite many things. We can automate our browser to do anything that we want to do. We can also automate different tasks such as data entry or autofill different forms on different websites. And one of the benefits using Selenium framework for web scraping is that sometimes if you make a request code to extract the content from a web page, if a website's content is generated using JavaScript or AJAX, which is JavaScript plus XML, most of the time you're not going to be able to extract the content simply using beautiful soup. That's where the Selenium uh, framework comes in, which allows you to access those uh, JavaScript or AJAX uh, contents. So this is the home page. Basically, you can get almost every single information uh, from the home page, such as uh, where to install the driver, some of the basic samples, and so on. The only downside is there are quite many uh, things that I need to navigate. But overall, the website did a pretty good job uh, when it comes to uh, providing the documentation. Now let's take a look at the agenda, what we're going to do in this uh, video. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the use cases and we'll create a Python virtual environment for uh, this project uh, specifically. And based on the browser that you're using, I will show you where you can download the uh, driver for your browser. And lastly, we're going to uh, install Selenium's Python library. Uh, just these four things, that's it. So if we Google, Oops, Selenium use cases. All right, so here are the top 10 use cases when it comes to using Selenium in the real world. For the most part, uh, the framework is designed for browser uh, testing. And reduction in human resources means that we can use Selenium to automate different manual tasks. And let's, uh, let's take a look at this website. So what's the best use case for Selenium? So here we have unit testing, integration tests, system tests. Let's see, what else do we have? For majority of the people, they use Selenium for testing. But for myself, I use Selenium primarily for uh, web scraping and browser automation. And throughout this tutorial series, I will show you different examples and we'll build different projects using Selenium to automate different manual tasks and to examine how we can use Selenium to enhance our uh, web scraping capability. All right, so we have done uh, use cases. Now let's go to item number one, which is to create a Python virtual environment. I'll create my virtual environment under my tutorials folder. So here, let's open our command prompt. I'm using Windows, by the way. So Python makes it pretty easy to create a virtual environment these days. So what you want to do is you want to type Python hyphen M. So M stands for module. And the module we'll be using to create a virtual environment is called VEMV, followed by the project name. I know a lot of people like to use VMV for uh, their project name, but I would recommend you use something more recognizable. So I'm going to call this project Selenium Tutorial with underscore. And here we have our uh, project for the virtual environment created. Now let's navigate to the uh, project folder. So I'll use the command CD followed by the folder name. And to activate the environment, so here I'm going to type the forward slash scripts. 
at the way wat. All right, finally, let me clear my uh, console. So we have activated the uh, uh, virtual environment. Now let's uh, download the driver. So I'll link the uh, link in the description below. Basically, if uh, you want to go to this page, and I provide the link to download the driver based on different browser. I'll be using Firefox throughout this tutorial. To download the driver, let's click on the download link. And that takes me to a GitHub repository. I want to navigate just a little bit more towards the bottom, right, right here, under assets. And I'm using Windows 64. So here uh, is the Windows 64 Firefox driver download. Now I want to save this uh, zip file in my project folder. It should be on the tutorials. Now go back to your project folder. Here we need to unzip the file. And there's only a single file. Now I can delete the zip file. Now if we go into the uh, unzip folder, there's only one file which is the driver binary. I'm going to move the binary to the uh, main folder, which is the project folder. I'll delete this folder. Now let's take a look. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to install Selenium Python library. And it's really easy. To install Selenium library for Python, you want to type pip install Selenium. All right, so we have done every single item on the agenda. That's everything for this lesson. For the next lesson, we'll create a very simple Python program using Selenium to navigate a web page.